I'm Lee Iridium. I hope you're doing all right today. Reaction time. So a band called Cap Outrun um, and a song called High on Deception. This is actually a title track of the album that's coming out on Frontiers, December the 10th. Um, Swedish band. <laughs> there you go. It's going to be, isn't it? Swedish band. Um, now it says here they're sort of, this could be a bit of a risk for me because <laughs> they're a progressive and AOR band. So anyone who knows me knows I don't like it too progressive, but they are likened to bands like Toto and Boston as well. So I'm thinking this has got to be worth the risk if you've got any of those elements of those two bands that I love. So uh, just running through the band names, here we go again. You know, if anyone watches the channel, then I have trouble doing this. So Chandler Mogul on the vocals, Andre Theander on the guitar. Linus Abrahamson on the bass, Johan Ludwig Rask on the drums, and Andre Egbo on the keys. I haven't practiced that, honestly. <laughs> it's just, I'm, that wasn't that bad, was it? So, really interested to hear this. Um, I don't think it's their first album, but I think it's their first one on Frontiers. So, really interested to hear it because of the mix saying it's proggy. Plus, plus the, um, the the Toto influence. The Toto thing interests me because Toto had that little bit of progressive side sometimes. So here we go. This is Cap Out Run and High on Deception. <laughs> Let's give it a quick stop there. Anyone who watches my channel will know that I stop it about halfway through and just give me my view so far. So yeah, I mean, it's sort of doing what it sort of says. I can really hear some Toto influences there. Um, quite progressive, obviously, through the verses um, leading up to the chorus. Got those really chord time signatures. But it's not so progressive that you're totally out of the you know the feel of the song and the rhythm of the song it's it's very head bobbing i, I can feel my head going so that's a good sign because sometimes in progressive music you like you <laughs> you don't know what to do because it's just too complex if you like but now nah, these have got melodies running right through them where it definitely has got those toto feels without a doubt and the chorus is brilliant because it just goes into that I was so glad they sort of did more of a melodic rock AOR chorus. It sort of brought you really into that rhythm. 
you know, and that melodic side of the band. So I love it. I think it's really cool. It's a really interesting listen. Obviously, they're great musicians because doing this sort of proggy type stuff, you've got to be, in you? You've got to be like the top-notch musician. So they're really great. And obviously, everyone in the band is just fantastic. I love his voice as well. Fits perfectly with this sort of music. You know, I would, for me, Toto is the, you know, but I don't listen to a lot of prog. So I can't really relate them to a lot of prog bands, but what I can relate them to is Toto because I think they're great. And it's not just with Toto, it's not just about Africa and Rosanna. You know, hopefully a lot of people listen to more Toto than that because they've got a great catalogue um, that spans, obviously, lots of years. But I love it. I think it's really cool. Obviously, the piano is a big, you know, on the keys, Andre Egbo is a big part of this band. Um, and it's got to be in this sort of music, isn't it? It was in Toto as well. The keys were a massive, major thing. I'm sorry I keep relating to Toto, but that's um, how I see them. Um, I think this is a really good signing for Frontiers as well, because it's something different. Um, I think a lot of people will latch on to this sort of stuff because there's so many bands about at the moment, you know, that are doing the same sort of thing. This to me sounds different. It might be that I'm out of that prog rock <laughs> seen completely but for me it's it's something really interesting and it, it gives me something different to listen to i love it i absolutely love it let's listen to the rest of this now there may be an, an amazing it could even be a key keyboard synth solo or a guitar solo but seeing as these guys are really great musicians i'm sure they're going to give us something special let's have a little listen I want to give a shout before I go into the rest of the song. A shout out to the production on this is just, it's just brilliant. The the actual sound of this song, the mix of this song is just outstanding. It's so clear, and obviously these musicians being as good as they are, that's what you need. You you need something to just show off the band. It's such a sharp and you know bright production. It's brilliant. Um, man, I was <laughs> when that solo and they did both by the way, didn't they? Guitar and keys. Um. That guitar solo, the rhythm section, going over that, I was just thinking, I used to be in a band, only the singer. But that, you know, I, would, I wouldn't have a clue. That odd time signature running through that was just mental. I was thinking, how do they even do that? And obviously you prog rock fans probably thinking, yeah, that's, that's normal. I'm thinking, how, you know, how, keeping that rhythm must be murder. For me, it would be anyway. But um, a brilliant guitar solo. A really cool synth solo. I like the way it went in when it went into the synth solo. The rhythm became um, 
more normal. <laughs> Not quite normal, but more of a steady sort of rhythm. And I got into the solo because I'm not a huge synth fan, as everyone knows. But obviously in this music, it's really important. But it's nice to hear that synth solo go into that more um, straightforward, if you like, rhythm. And it made the chorus huge when the chorus came in. So, yeah, great track from Cap Outrun. High on Deception. Bit out of my comfort zone, but love it all the same. Brilliant, brilliant chorus. Absolutely outstanding. So these, these guys know how to... Be really technical, but be really catchy at the same time. Must be a hard balance, but they've got it exactly right. Album's out December the 10th on Frontiers. Recommended. <laughs> 